What was it that I ate? You had uh, ribs, spare ribs in pineapple. In pineapple, yeah. It's uh, my chef's speciality dish. She uh, very proud of. Wow, uh, yeah. Rec recognised throughout uh, old Sukhothai in the old town here. Yeah. Wow, yeah. In Sukhothai, I'm at the Garden Restaurant, which somebody told me has a very high rating from TripAdvisor. It's a Sunday night, so there aren't too many people here. Uh, but I was, uh, it was recommended that I order this, which apparently is ribs and pineapple. And uh, I have never eaten anything like this before, this, this fancy. My meal is usually rice and maybe some chicken, but this is amazing. And your name is? Graham Hunt. And uh, Mr. Hunt, you are from Great Britain. I'm from Great Britain, I'm from London. You're, and you are the part owner of this restaurant. Yeah, there's two of us. There's a, a, a Thai person and a UK person, and I'm the UK person. And would the Thai person be? Yeah. Over? The Thai person is over there. Hey, hello. This this uh, super friendly lady who I have seen in walking through this town, she's out there, really friendly, grabbing customers as they walk by. I've noticed her so. You're viewing Travels with Lobo, Thailand from the North, vlog number 24 from Sukhothai, ancient capital city of the Sukhothai Kingdom. In old Sukhothai, I was fortunate enough to meet the part owner of the historical garden restaurant, Mr. Graham Hunt. I say part owner because you need to have a Thai partner, as you will see, and much, much more. It's actually called the Historical Garden Restaurant because it's right next to the Sukhothai Historical Park, which I highlighted in vlog number 22. In vlog number 23, Old Sukhothai Street View, I cycled right by the restaurant. I didn't know it at the time because I hadn't done this interview. six months ago uh, in Great Britain. Uh, unfortunately, due to circumstances in Great Britain, Brexit, etc., Great Britain uh, restaurants are stagnant at this moment in time. I've always wanted to open a restaurant, so I traveled to Far East, I went to Cambodia, to Laos, and finally to Thailand. I ended up in Chiang Mai, not having a restaurant and being very despondent. I was getting the bus down to Bangkok to fly back to the UK when I stopped off at a place called Sukhothai and wow, I looked at this and said, what a lovely place. Wait a minute, you didn't stop in Sukhothai, you stopped in yeah, old Sukhothai. There's, yeah. a, there's, a, there's a heck of a difference. So I, I asked uh, the local bar person, I said, is there any restaurants for sale here? And desperation basically, because this was my last stop before Bangkok. And they actually said, no, there's an empty garage up the road. So this used to be an empty garage. Empty garage for two years. Yes, yes, sir. So they actually said, I said, could I make it into a restaurant? And they said, well, we need to go and see the government people that day. So I went off with the owner to the government people. I said, I'd like to convert this garage into a restaurant. What do I need to do? And they got a big rubber stamp out and stamped it on a piece of paper and said, it's now a restaurant. It, it was that quick? That quick, no planning permission, nothing else. Right. The only stipulation was that they would come back in five or six weeks and, and, and ensure that it was actually being used as a restaurant. As a restaurant. All local labor, uh -huh. quotes, uh, I employ local staff, 
and within four to five weeks uh, we transformed the restaurant from a derelict garage mm -hmm. into uh, a restaurant opposite the historical park which gives us a beautiful view. So right, the historical park is just uh, behind us here. Yeah, yes, yes. A steep learning curve. Steep learning curve. Uh, especially understanding Thai, Thai culture. You know, uh, we could spend the rest of the evening talking about Thai, Thai culture, but, but we, we, it's, we won't. It's, it's, it's extraordinary, but yes. I, I'm, I'm very glad to be here. The Thai people are very nice to me. Yes, yes. Uh, and hopefully, this is going to be a, a very successful restaurant. Right. That one big part of the story, you know, like you make it sound like you came here and it's your restaurant, but there are laws here that say... Tell us about that. Well, it's, it's two things. You, you, you <clears throat> cannot own piece of land in Thailand. Right. So uh, uh, a phalang can't. A phalang can't own a piece of land in Thailand. Yes. And you cannot own a business, full, a full business in, in Thailand. Right, right. You have to have a partner. Right. And that partner has to be 51% Thai and you can be 49% percent So Right, right. With, with, with that in mind, uh, I, I found a business partner. As I, I only intend to spend six months a year here because I'm a cricket fanatic in the UK. You are a cricket fanatic. So I'm going back. It's like watching paint dry. Yeah. So I'm going back for cricket during the cricket season <laughs> for six months, wow. and then and then coming back to Thailand for six months in between, after the cricket season finishes. That's a that's a good life. Yeah. So just the old city. It's called Muang Khao, Old Sukhothai. That's so, a major correction. Uh, yeah, yes. So okay. The, so, so the, yeah. So the locals call this Muang Khao as yeah. opposed to New Sukhothai, which is not such a nice cow further north. No, it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. But here, here you have a historical site, a beautiful historical site, well, many sites, to be honest, and it reminds you, reminds me of uh, what old Siam, I, I pictured it could be exactly. many, many years ago. And you said you associated a film with it, as yeah, did I. I, I, I. As soon as I came here and they mentioned it, the old Siam, I, I automatically thought of your brilliant bill, the, the, the King and I. The King and I, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but uh, other aspects of this place is it's a beautiful scenic town. The people are so friendly. The locals are so welcoming to me. Yes. I'm, I am the only Farang restaurant owner in the whole town. That's amazing. And everybody is, is so nice. Uh, we go to the local market in the morning every morning to get fresh produce for the restaurant right. and they play music and I pretend that I dance and I have all the <laughs> ladies in the local market, we all dance together and they wait for the farang to turn up in the morning, they put some music on and yeah. I pretend I'm dancing and all the ladies jump up and we all dance together uh, it's and, wonderful. and come back. No wonder you like it here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. All, all the best to you. Cheers. This interview was recorded December 2019, just before COVID struck. So the question arises, did the restaurant survive these terrible, terrible times? I'm super happy to found this announcement on Facebook for a reopening in November 20th, 2021. The 20th of November. So there's hope there, but then there's also Omicron. In any case... Kudos to Graham Hunt for having pulled this whole thing off and keeping it going. Good luck. Since this is my last vlog from uh, Old Sukhothai, I'd like to add a personal memory, which is very important to me. I kind of arrived in Old Sukhothai kamikaze style. I couldn't get a reservation, but I said, what the heck, I'll go anyway. Surely I find a ho I'll find a hotel. Well, I didn't find a hotel. It was only with the dogged, dogged effort of my taxi driver who took me from Sukhothai to Old Sukhothai, who repeatedly tried to find me a place and finally found me a room above a store. Just me, above a store. I, it was wonderful. But anyway, thank you very much to the taxi driver. And thankfully, the place where I ended up staying was practically next door to my favorite store. That would be the 7-Eleven coming up right there. Look at that, the beautiful 7-Eleven right next to me. And just now we're coming upon the store, right, right, right. Uh, well, let's see, there's a side of the store coming up right there. That's the side, you can see it. And there's the front of the store with a window at the top where I stayed. Unknown to me, there was a national computer competition among high school students that took place in Sukhothai that weekend, and I could not get a room. 
And, and here for my final clip, a little chat with some of the high school students. Here on this beautiful, beautiful evening on this beautiful lake in Sukhothai. Hello! <laughs> I ran into three young ladies from Chiang Rai. Rai. Chiang Rai. Rai in northern Thailand, right? Yes. And what's your name? Um, my name is Bai Fern. And your name? Pan. And your name? Nam Mi. Okay. And you tell me that you love? Love English. English. Yes. English. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you love English. You love English. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I know I've traveled uh, for weeks in Thailand. And you're the first group that yeah. I've oh, talked to you. that, you know, really speaks a little bit of English and that loves English. And I'm, yeah. I'm very happy about that. So I want you to check my YouTube channel, Travels with Lobo, right? Okay. okay. And uh, we'll have you, we'll have you in the Sukhothai Sukhothai Sukho 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 vlog, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pleasure talking to you. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 One more time, thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed this last vlog from Old Sukhothai. Join me next Friday as I move on to another royal kingdom. This time it's Ayutthaya. 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 Does that mean anything to you? You will learn something new as I did.